Alright, well, let's see if we can find Leslie. And let's hope that there's no more safe man. A.K.A. THE KEEPER! He's gonna fucking come back, there's no way. It'd be t way too easy. Although I'm questioning these candles that aren't lit. <laughs> It'd be cool if I actually could burn them and get something extra. Oh! That was the end of the chapter! Oh! Then I guess... We did just kill the keeper. I... Guess? <laughs> At least for good, good enough for now. I believe in the chapter save screens, alright. Is that guy coming after me? I hope not, because I don't got- I don't have ammo! Maybe that's what that fight was for! To strip me of all of my supplies! With that said, I still have five shots with my sniper rifle. I think it sees me, friends. Okay, fuck you. What the fuck is that?! Oh! Okay! You have received my attention?! Why?! Uh-uh. Nothing like that should ever continue to fucking exist. <laughs> and that even burned him. Dude, come on. Thank you. Why is there even a fucking mechanic to burn a body if occasionally it can miss if you're not literally directly over it? That's so dumb. It shouldn't give me the button prompt. That's a uh, miss. That is not. Alright, if I can run over there in time, we should be good. There you go. And then maybe I can kill this guy too, in time. Yeah! Burn the body. Okay. We've dealt with the... Creepy dudes with the fucking monsters inside of them. Which is just kind of a monster within a monster kind of scenario. Kind of an asshole decision, but you know what? It's not the first time we've dealt with it. Thank you, Resident Evil, for preparing me, kind of, for that kind of shenanigans. Although, obviously, not on that level. Still, got away from it. I didn't get instantly killed. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna assume my headshot at the appropriate part and not bother burning him. Yeah, okay. It's a learning experience, damn it. Fuck it! <laughs> Thank you! I was gonna say, I'm gonna have to burn this guy's body out of necessity just so I can get past the door? God. Ugh. Get back with that fucking bullshit! Okay? I have enough fucking problems dealing with you guys. And now you want to include... Chest bursting monsters? No, 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 no. This is giving me shotgun ammo. <laughs> I can't say the game is... Too forgiving, because it's not like it gives me... That much ammo. I kind of quickly burn through it when I need to. Oh, 
There definitely hasn't been a part where I'm like, shit, I'm completely out of every single possible thing, and I'm going to need to completely sneak. Although we have just gotten really close to that. I blame the keeper, though. If it wasn't for the keeper, things would have continued par normal. Oh, hello, statue. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe I can get something useful eventually. Okay. Well, I just ran my last match on nothing. I am so fucked. If there was anyone in more of a fucked situation, it would- it would just- it would be impossible. It would be completely implausible for our universe and our timeline. Oh. Someone just died. <sighs> oh shit, the fuck? I was gonna say, hey, bolts! And then I realized the shots are going across this entire place. And then there was nothing in the most treacherous fucking one. Damn it. Why can't I get the one that's up on the higher up on the thing? That's silly. Oh well, let's run. Crouch. We don't push my luck, okay? Yep, especially because apparently it starts towards this end anyways. Shotgun on the ready, just in case something bad happens. <sighs> Kidman has been conveniently just really not in this story. Like, we've had a good segment with Joseph, we've had more time with Leslie than we have Kidman. And that's kind of saddening me. Like, come on. She's obviously... immune to the crazy things going on. So I'd like to know why. Okay. Aberrant brainwave patterns observed in subjects number 25 and 33, and now again in 55. The one common factor is a case history of disassociative identity disorder. Previous experiments on the prefrontal cortex led to degradation of sense of self, but there were unanticipated results here. Suicidal thoughts of alternate personalities exhibited as attacks on the core personality. As self-consciousness waned, a sort of stasis was achieved. Like two creatures sewn together and forced to live as one, eternally hating the other. Huh. Delicious. That is kind of amusing. Uh, that kind of sounds like what Joseph is going through, honestly. And it does sound like it relates back to the creatures we've been fighting lately, with the double-headed syndrome going on. Fucking assholes. Oh. But we're good. Ish. What the fuck? No! You stop this shit! Bad babies! Stop coming out of the walls! You're not supposed to do that! The fuck was that all about? I'm over here trying to get some fucking ammo. And all of a sudden, babies! Or little toddlers! At least they died to me just kicking them. I didn't let them- I didn't want to let them give up. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Oh, man. They came from the roof! Stop it! Stop it! I want peace and quiet! Or walking regular things! Not little tykes. Fucking kind of shit is that? Every other enemy has been relatively normal. Like just standing upright assholes. Here are pretty much just humans, and now we gotta deal with babies. And they're not terrifying. They're more annoying if anything. We're gonna come for the roof. Look at us. There's thousands of us. <laughs> That's what I got from that. <sighs> We're good. Just gotta spam the F.
In case you don't want to be able to run, don't worry. We got that water for you. Hope you're ready to die. Ooh. Ammo. I was trying to crouch under it, and I was like, oh, wait, I can just punch it. Yeah. Would like to see if there's more gear for me to grab. Maybe hidden behind one of the waterfalls? Nope. All right. Babies! Or toddlers, I guess, would be more appropriate. Kind of an in-between between children and baby. Toddlers. Did I get them all? I mean, we have floating... <laughs> we have floating rats! So, who we'll take that as confirmation that I have annihilated the toddlers? Maybe I can get a sneak kill for once. Nope. I dare you to run at me as if you've got an inside thing on you. There we go. Oh, are you shitting me? Alright, fine. We got toddlers incoming! Which means I gotta spam the Fs! Are there more? Yep, there's one last guy over here. Yeah! At least I was ready. You know, I was prepared to fight. Oh, I don't even have... Oops. I don't have any more matches. So I hope that everything I kill from this point on is legitimately dead. I won't lie, the toddlers are pretty creepy in regards to just the way they are. Scary, no. Creepy, yes. I think mean, there is a little bit of a distinction between the two. Uh... Okay. That's no one I know, that's for sure. <laughs> am I in my mind? Or... Uh, am I in just legitimate areas? We're gonna say we're in a legitimate area. Like, Ruvik just threw- kindly throws me into certain really bad areas. But everywhere else is relatively normal. Although we might be reaching a point where there is no more normal. We are descending into catacombs more and more. Hey, lady. Uh, what's going on here? Cave note. I went in too deep, and of course it was a trap. Sophia told me to stop so many times, but it was only a little further to the truth. I know there'd be challenges, but I was so close! I noticed the faintest breeze coming from the crack of this door. This door has to lead outside. This plate I found looks like it fits in the slot. It's probably the key, but which way does it go? 50-50 odds. And I've been here pacing for what feels like an eternity, unable to make this simple choice. Sophia, if I make it out of here, I'll hold you in my arms. I'll tell you that you were right, and I'll never let you go. Or you'll die. Huh. Ugh. What do we have? Bloody relief plate. This strange plate has faces carved into either side of it. One side has blood streaked across it. Well, I guess because it fell down there. Okay. So, I have to decide which way it goes into here? I can either go for the happy face? Oh, I get it. There's blood streaked across one side because that was the wrong way it was facing. Yeah! Alright! That was a nice puzzle. Got through it just fine. Okay, I was just making sure I was like looking like, is there anything I left behind in that particular area? It would be nice if I had more ammo. Uh oh. Oh no. 
It's gonna happen again. We're gonna legitimately go inside of a really fucked up world, rather than just being in the real fucked up world. Yep! Great! This is where I need my fucking life. Wheelchairs and shit! Oh, but at least there's a map fragment. Yippee! You know, last time I was in a hallway like this, I got chased by a chainsaw guy. Which... You know, I guess in the grand scheme of things now, he actually wasn't really all that scary. Asshole, yes! But only because I couldn't just straight up kill him. Uh... What is going on in this other room? Hey! There's a guy! It's a doctor! Is it Renardo? Doc. Doc, what the hell is going on? There's no time. I need to figure out how to reverse this if we're going to stop him. Who? This Ruvik guy? Who the hell is he? I'm sorry, I have to find this. I can't help if you leave me in the dark, Doc. And you need me to help. <sighs> he... We... We're working on a method. How can I explain this? It's... Like linking brains together. Sharing everything on an electrochemical level. Emotion, memory, perception, everything. Directly. It's unprecedented. The implications on psychology, on pharmaceuticals, on consciousness itself. Are you serious? It's a fucking nightmare. Well, I didn't say it was perfect. Especially not with such a... Unstable host. Great. So your research partner is a psychopath. And we're all inside his head. N not exactly, no. All of us are contributing on some level. But he's the only one with conscious influence. You know how he thinks. What does he want? Well, it's just a theory, but... I'd say he wants us dead. I just, he has the brain. Again. Oh. Doctor? Uh, okay, Dr. Renardo. How the fuck did I end up here? Am I the unstable? No. I, I wouldn't be Ruvik, that'd be silly. I'm pretty sure Ruvik is a completely different person, and I'm a completely different person. Journal of Sebastian Castellanos, June 16th, 2009. Oh, no! Shit. Thank God for archives. Uh... June 2009, we dropped off Lily, or Lily for her first day at preschool this morning. She's a brave girl. She seems like she'll be fine. Mira, God bless her, has had a tough three years. Raising a baby is a full-time job, and she fi she's finally going to get the break she deserves. And by break, I mean coming back to the KCPD Missing Persons Bureau. The amount of disappearances here seems to be growing. If we don't get to the bottom of it soon, there won't be anyone left to investigate. They'll all be missing. I exaggerate, of course, but there's something going on in Crimson City that needs to be stopped. And Mira will help to see that. She's damn good at her job, and obviously happy to be back in her element. Okay, well, so, confirm, we're relatively in modern time. 2009 wasn't that long ago. Uh, and so I... Just... This place sucks. It's old. Everything is fucking ancient. Even my wardrobe is relatively ancient. What, what... I know you're a detective. But I don't think a modern detective would wear this. Ever. <laughs> I'm just saying. But maybe it's just because I'm crazy. What the fuck? Really? Ew! Alright, you got me. I'm running. Bye! <laughs> Sprinting away because I don't know what the fuck that is. Uh, oh shit, Ruvik. Hey! <laughs> and that 
that's just it! The end of the chapter! Okay, I guess. Ruby comes up, screws with me for a little while, and then it's done. It's just like the intro of the game, all over again. He just teleports up to me and everything's gone. What the hell was that though? I didn't get a good look. And that's, I think, one of the worst, thing, uh, worst things about some of these monsters. Sometimes you just can't get a good look at them. But at the same time, that's the best thing, because it leaves things to your imagination. Like, what? What did I just see? Was it an amalgamation of a whole shitload of bodies? Or was it just one big creepy thing? Probably both. <laughs>